close. You did awesome, dude. So Finney just had his first stalk on a deer. Mm -hmm. He's a little emotional. <laughs> Why was that so much fun, bud? Because um. you were with me. <laughs> and you would have... You, that's why I'm teaching you, so you get to do that when you get older. But he said he was, he's so emotional because he got so excited and he gave him the shivers. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's what hunting's all about, buddy. That's why I like to take you and get you to experience things like that. Okay. Isn't that fun? Really fun. <laughs> I wish I could do that with the elk. Oh, the elk? A couple years, buddy. All right, well, we had a good morning. We saw some deer. Finney got a stock in on three doe. We actually just saw the one, and he got, what, probably 20 yards? And then uh, the one below her winded him, so they kind of blew out, but either way, I've never stocked in on a deer like that until I was probably 12, 14 years old, so pretty cool, buddy. We're gonna go home and eat some breakfast. It's October 14th and I'm headed back out still chasing those bucks that I've been seeing uh, out on this uh, property that I have permission to hunt they kind of the one that I passed up worked underneath me the other day and the bigger one worked out a different trail so I set up on that um, on Friday morning and saw a few doe and two younger bucks fighting but I didn't see him so what I'm gonna do tonight is Head out there I found a scrape in there that looked pretty good um, and I had some pictures of deer working that way the last couple of nights so hopefully tonight's a little different hopefully at last light that big tall eight point that my boy named Chase uh, works through I get a shot at him and it's the end of my archery season here in Pennsylvania hopefully that's the case I'm ready to to get one down I don't have much time to hunt this year even though I've been hunting quite a bit um, so hopefully we can get this taken care of Hey, what's going on guys? It is Sunday and little stinkers in the back and big stinkers up front. But we're headed out to uh, some state game lands to take a hike. It's going to be a little scouting hike even though I'm not going to be hunting this area. Um, Lisa and I are closing on a house next month that borders this piece of state game land. So we're pretty stoked on that. I'll be able to hunt basically out of my backyard 
to hike in. So we're gonna access it from a different side um, and kind of hike back in. And I do have one old trail camera that if I can find some scrapes or some rubs or some good trails that I'm gonna throw up to see if uh, over the rest of the season I can pull some pictures of some deer for next year and kind of get an idea of what they're doing and go from there. You're hanging out back here, huh? Having fun on our hike? <laughs> what are you laughing at? How are you laughing at? Hey, what's this? Box. Buck rub. Buck rub. Say it. Butt rub. A butt rub. <laughs> Can you point to it? You see where daddy means? Go get it. Don't go touch it. No, look. See on the branch where it's rubbed off? That's Point where... to it and say buck rub. That's where bucks rub their antlers. Right here. See this? Buck rub. Buck rub. Mm -hmm. buck. Yep, there's another one. That's a little bit nicer one. A little small tree back there. See that guy? Buck rub. Uh -huh. Buck rub. Yeah. Good job. Nine. Yeah, there's the third, and then yeah, actually yeah. another rub. You in the car. We're going back to Right on that tree there. Okay. So. Not yeah, huge rubs, but rub line nonetheless. Uh, I want to set head and set a trail camera up on this rub line here that I stumbled upon with the girls. So. I'm actually probably going to take a su next Sunday or the Sunday after and come check it and see what kind of deer they aren't massive rubs or anything but you just never know what will be uh, cruising on these trails so we're gonna hike out now stinker's getting a little tired Juliet will need her afternoon nap and then I got a hockey game this evening so definitely been fun hanging out with the girls doing something that we all love together so we'll continue on and go from there guys it's a beautiful fall day Finn and I hopped on the mountain bikes Grabbed the fly gear, fly rod, hiked onto the stream, and there is a few small leftover trout in this hole below us. Right down in there. We're in a nice big rock, kind of laying on it flat here so they don't see us too much. We're going to cast in a little print nymph and see how we do. They're pretty skittish because it's so clear and so, so low, but hopefully we catch a couple. How about it, buddy? <laughs> yeah, lay down here, Mama. I'm gonna try to catch that guy. It's a beautiful brown right below us. This is hard to vlog because this rock is like super steep. But we tried that pell evening done and he wouldn't go after it, but he's taken some something else off the top. We never really spent any time to figure out what they are. So it's the fall, things are falling off. So I'm gonna throw a little ant that I have tied up. I tied this thing up probably like seven years ago when I was really into fly fishing kind of got out of it but now I think I'm back into it so need to teach this little guy how to fly fish so I got my downed chest box here I'm gonna throw in a throw on an ant and he's literally right off the edge of the rock so hopefully we can catch him we threw everything in the box at him and we came up empty-handed so stinking fish we'll be back I forgot to say Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We appreciate the follows. And uh, we're gonna continue to produce as many vlogs as we can every week. It's a lot of fun. Then he took a nose dive. So now we gotta go get it cleaned up. Come on, buddy. Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Monday morning, the 16th, and I'm driving to camp. Um, 
currently it's 47 degrees outside which is about a 20 degree drop so really hoping the deer are out moving which it should be this morning um, taking a half day so I don't have to be into work until about one o'clock it is about an hour drive um, back home so as long as I'm out of the woods by 10 11 o'clock I should be good to go um, stopped and gassed up and uh, snagged some of these guys so pretty stoked on that breakfast is served gonna go have some fun in the woods um, just over a mile hike once I get up to camp to where I want to go or to the spot that I'm gonna park up at camp that area and uh, just hoping for the best I mean, I'm really looking forward to getting out uh, the hike yesterday with Lisa and Juliet back through state game lands was a lot of fun um, kind of has me excited to hunt this style as much as possible um, Unfortunately, I gotta take off work during work days to be able to do it. So, is what it is. I don't know if I'm just uh, not the smartest guy in the world or what, but there's just something about hunting up here that I enjoy. I just saw that one deer on the hike in and that was it. Um, there's just so much woods, but I didn't want to sit kind of where I, I'm planning on being come rut when I've got an all day sit planned, but I have properties 15, 20 minutes from the house that I can drive and have a much better chance of seeing deer than hunting up here. But for some reason, I enjoy packing probably 50 pounds. I'm actually gonna weigh this when I get home because I feel like it's so freaking heavy. But pack that in a mile deep, hang a tree stand, sit for a couple hours and hike back out with it. Just something about being in the middle of nowhere with uh, without cars driving by, without people being near you, and uh, I'll keep hunting like this as much as I possibly can. But this is our camp. Come rifle season, will be a lot of good times to be had. But gonna hit the highway, got an hour drive home, and uh, Got a full day's work to get done, so. Well, the trail camera that I pulled from the spot that I hunted this morning, um, it only had five pictures on it, and it was back in September. And these are the five pictures. And it was kind of spun around the tree, so pretty sure those bear did not like the trail camera and had their way with it. But... Pretty sweet pictures. Checking a trail camp. There's a doe about 40 yards. Upwind to me.
sat and looked at that young fawn probably about five, ten minutes. We just sat there and looked at each other. And she started working out away from me. And so as I rounded that corner, I ain't never gonna look at the at the other doe. But um, they snorted and were gone. So I'm sure that wind uh, they sent at me there. So still a blast. I'm out here. Well, that was a lot of fun. I'm about back out to my car to drive to work. I found a nice little run of three scrapes. Uh, so I threw the trail camera up on the one that kind of sits on a corner where I'll be able to see kind of the three access points to that scrape to see which way they're coming from, hopefully, and then game plan accordingly. But wasn't really expecting to hunt at all this morning. I was just gonna throw up that trail camera and I checked my other trail cameras, and uh, so you never know what you're gonna get into when you go out. So just go out and have some fun. But that's about it for this vlog. Um, as always, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content we're putting out. We just have fun sharing our experiences, sharing what we've got going on. Um, so if you're into hunting with trad bow, we're hunting with a rifle because word on the street is Mike killed a bull out in Colorado. So looking forward to uh, hearing that story from him. But hit that subscribe button. Enjoy your hunting season. Hopefully you're having more success than we are, but we're still having a blast being out.